it is all about the swing states this election. And the voters who may be changing their minds and their allegiance could be the key. CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobiea reports. Now you're talking. Sun City Center is a senior Shangri-La. That was a good shot. Home to more than 11,000 golf cart driving, sun loving, Republican leaning retirees. It used to be solid John McCain country, but there are signs of a shift. Joe the plumber. Well, where Joe the woodworkers here? How's that? <laughs> Meet the sawdust engineers. All five are military veterans who spend their golden days in the Sun City wood shop. We make all of these toys. Educational toys from donated wood. They're not building houses and they're not making cabinets. Therefore, we're not getting any wood. They're having to pay for supplies while their own wallets get thinner by the day. My retirement income value is probably half of what it was a year ago. I lost over 100 grand this past two months. We get notice every now and then that, you know, some of the benefits will have to go. Edwin Bearer may lose his wife's supplemental wife health insurance. It comes from the pension fund, and the pension fund is invested in the stocks. Dave O'Donnell worries about his grandkids inheriting $10 trillion in debt. Because some souped up cowboy wants to run around and thinks he knows best. The rest of the world is supposed to follow him. I'm sorry, I'm just mad at him. I'm mad at McCain for following him. All five sawdust engineers voted for George Bush in 2000. Four of them helped re-elect him in 2004. This year, Edwin and Dave are voting for Barack Obama. Russ is leaning that way, and Jerry is undecided. Only Ed is solidly behind John McCain. Despite that, the latest poll, which includes voters who are leaning toward a candidate, shows slightly more Florida seniors favor McCain. Like these women in the Sun City Center Sewing Club. Obama has not been in the service, so he doesn't really know what it's like. And I think that makes a big difference in your candidates. Neither candidate impresses Jerry Decker. They may not be worthy of my vote. They haven't shown it yet. He may do something he's never done in 40 years as a Republican. But we don't all abstain. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, Sun City Center, Florida.